Good afternoon, Kristen Collins with Lee Health here for another Wellbeing Wednesday. Really great to reconnect with you guys. So I'm really not watching the news a lot. Um, I'm just kind of disassociating from that because it doesn't do a lot for my stress level. I'm really concentrating on self-care and owning what I can own. But even I am aware of the incredible rise of cases of our virus here in this state. So we talk, we've been talking about that for a couple months. And foundationally, guys, we're all in charge of our own health. We know that. And self-care is not selfish. It is the foundation to well-being. So today, we need to reflect on the decisions that we're making. Are they from the lens of self-care? Are they necessary? Are they reasonable? And we don't need authority. We don't need the hospital. We don't need anyone else to tell us what we need to do to be safe and to self-care. So please, please remember, you are the most important human on the planet. You have to take care of you. It's no one else's responsibility to take care of you except you. And you can't take care of others if you are not whole and centered and well yourself. So we're going through this exploration, this incredible journey together to finding that state of well-being based on self and self-care. And I really appreciate the opportunity to continue that dialogue with you today and each week. It's really helping me think through things and contemplate and have conversations about how can I help people uh, be the best selves they can be during a global pandemic, never mind always. <laughs> um, I was able to connect with Kids Minds Matter this Monday and do a Facebook Live, which is a very different experience. Uh, as part of their series, they have every Monday on mental health. So I want to start today by thanking Kids Minds Matter, the amazing founders, Scott and Susan, um, Priority Marketing, who helps with that campaign, really for the material that they are offering um, it's actually, it goes out to anyone. When I was connecting on Monday, there were people from South Louisiana, from all over the state of Florida, from Pennsylvania. So it was really neat to be able to spend that hour connecting to talk about unlocking the keys to mental well-being. And really what I did when I prepared for that was I reflected on a lot of conversations that we are having and inclusive of last week's where we started really talking about tools for self-care and tools for mental well-being. So I invite you to go and I'm going to ask Alyssa actually to add the link to the full hour video that we ended up recording on Monday, which walks you through what are seven tools for self-care for mental well-being so that you can be the best holist you even during a global pandemic where stress is as acute guys i mean we're going to be stressing from this life event this global life event for the next i don't know i don't know while like years this is going to have fallout and again just that chronic low grade or high grade stress on our minds and our bodies for quite quite some time. So we have to figure out how do we never mind survive this, right? Who wants to just live and survive? How can we actually actualize during this and thrive during this and recreate during this? And really the key to that is getting in touch with who you are. So that video link from Kids Minds Matter will take you through the whole exploration of self and then how do you show up in your family? And then how do you show up in your organization for organizational health? So if you have an hour or you're driving and you can you know, pop that on, I welcome you to that. And thank you again, Kids Minds Matter. But what I wanna do um, for us is just take that snippet and be able to highlight one key tool that you can use for that self-care for mental well-being. So last week we talked about breathing. Plain, simple, being present and taking some deep breaths. So that was the first tool that we went through with Kids Minds Matter. We did a compom, five deep breath exercise. We talked about Insight Timer. We talked about uh, Lee Health on our YouTube page is constantly uploading meditations. Thank you, Cheryl Schlichty, for those. And so you have access to a bunch of free content, including just taking five deep breaths. So you don't even need any content. So unlocking the keys to your mental well-being, the first tip is breathe. Just be here, be here now. Um, the second tool that we, we talked through is about 
um, reducing distractions. And right now our culture, you know, is inundated. The whole planet is inundated with opportunity not to be present. All I mean, and actually it's, it's working against us because there's all kinds of triggers and factors that are pulling us away from being in the present moment, trying to vie for our attention, trying to get us to consume or purchase whatever it is that's being sold. So I'm constantly having to reset my mind and say, okay, do I really need that? Do I really need to go do that right now? Can I just take a deep breath? So the second tool is about reducing those distractions. It's really, really important that we limit our screen time. And right now, because most of us are still hunkered down, I'm doing all of my, I have Zoom calls all day today, right? But I'm having to make sure I time them so I can take a break in between, go for a little walk around my house, get a glass of water, um, and also you know, cut it off and make sure that I'm not just sitting in front of my screen all day, all night. Um, unplugging at least an hour before you go to bed, right? And getting off that screen before you go to bed, not having screens in your bedroom, right? That's not what bedrooms are for. Bedrooms are for rest and relaxation and connectivity. It's not to sit there on your, your device. So consider not having electronic devices um, in your bedroom. And then also too, when it comes to distractions, we tend to obsess and recreate a hundred million times over something that's happened in the past, whether that was a good experience or bad experience, even though they're both perfect. Um, you know, oh, I should have said this to him or, oh, that made me so angry or that was so fun. I loved that moment. And, you know, I, I tend to spend more time in the, oh my God, that was so fun. I miss this person. You know, this was such a great experience space, but then I'm missing whatever's going on. Today, I chose on my walk with my dog. I called my brother because I missed him yesterday and we all know I miss my family in Connecticut. I've already talked about that. So um, I told my brother I would call him on my walk with my dog, which I'm really trying to reserve as time not to be distracted, but to be there with my dog in nature, taking in the fresh air, watching the sunrise and being present. I finished my walk with, I had about three minutes left before I got home and, and Jeff and I were done speaking. I couldn't remember which streets I walked this morning. I was like, did I go on that road? And I, I missed an entire street in my neighborhood. Um, so I do it too, guys, right? Not, you know, really being present, removing the distractions, not obsessing about the past. And as we've talked about, this is a friendly reminder not to be freaking out about the future. The future is not here yet. Today is yesterday's future that we were all obsessing about. And now we're here. <laughs> so how about we just be here? And really deciding, am I in control of that? Let me let go of that and let me just be here now. So the second key to um, mental well-being that we discussed on Monday with Kids Minds Matter was uh, removing distractions. And I hope you find that tip helpful. So thank you guys for when you weigh in below, it's really enjoyable during the week to revisit this video and I can go through and connect with people as well as the team at Lee Health is doing an exceptional job staying in touch with you. You're asking great questions. Consider on Mondays um, logging in for the diverse offerings on mental health that Kids Minds Matter is, is putting out there for the entire nation, probably globe. It's really cool what they're doing and it's very much appreciated how they're trying to help people get to that root cause of mental health. And then again, friendly reminder, this isn't going away anytime soon. This is our normal. We need to be in the present moment, release what we don't own, re-envision how we can interface and we need to take care of ourselves and make decisions for ourselves and not judge what other people are doing. So with that, happy well-being Wednesday. It's always something I look forward to each week, midweek. I'm like, oh good, I get to connect and really download and consider what's going on in our current times. And I really appreciate sharing this journey with you. So take care of you and I'll see you next week. Have a good one. Bye guys.